Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Man, I'm as nervous as a dog razor blades. <laughs> oh man. I don't know why shooting 100 yard gel shots always get me so doggone nervous. It's probably because I know I only get one chance. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many things that have to go right. There's so many things that can go wrong. So anyways, man, I'm so psyched. You know, last year I uh, cut a video and I was pretty much slamming the 350 Legend. You know, anywhere from was a 350 Legend a mistake to blah, 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 blah. And I'll tell you what, I have come full circle. And the only reason why I've come full circle is because of Lehigh Defense. Because I knew my guys would come through and designing a bullet worthy of the 350 Legend. Seriously. So what we have is the prototype Lehigh Defense 355 diameter. Let's not mince words, okay? This is a 9mm diameter bullet, 150 grain, controlled fracturing. I've got some load data worked out. You know me, I don't publish any load data. Eventually you'll get that load data, just not from me. I'm getting uh, roughly 2,470 feet per second. Before we shoot, let's look at the rifle real quickly. In the back, I got a Luth AR MBA stock. Moving forward, I have the Brigant Arms, all carbon fiber handguard. Peeking underneath, I've got the superlative arms, adjustable gas block with a patented bleed off system. Wrapped around the Alex Pro Firearms 20 inch 1 in 16 twist 350 Legend barrel with their Alex Pro or APF muzzle brake. Sitting up top, I have the new Vortex Strike Eagle. This is the 5 to 25 by 56 millimeter main objective, 34 millimeter main body. This bad boy has 110 minutes of angle of adjustment. That's just crazy. And of course, up top, I've got the Tacticam 5.0, which reminds me, I better get that rolling. Okay, I think we're all set to go. Got the phone scope recording as well. Gonna shoot 100 yards. Let's see what kind of group I can get here. Shoot for the center target. All right. Definitely shows good promise. Like I said, I haven't worked up any load yet. I just uh, threw a load together trying to get the maximum velocity. I'm sure I can fine tune this into a minute angle. Gel block is 37.6 degrees as indicated by the Fluke 87 with the thermal couple probe. So here's the setup folks. I'm going to try to capture a pedal or two from the control fracturing design. All right, folks, I'm going to adjust my phone scope on the gel block. Let's go right to the gel block. What do you say? All right, here we go. Nice. Let's check that out. Hope I got the high speed. All right, I got to shut down some of these cameras now.
right, folks. Woohoo! Look at that. Oh, I got a pedal right there. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what else we got here. I'll check that out. Got the pedal still in the gel block. And the base. See how far the bait did the bait. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look how far that base penetrated. 16 plus another 6. 6, 12. Look at that. I don't know if the base is in here or not. All right, folks. So the pedals penetrated uh, roughly, I would say, 12 inches. So there's three I could see and then one, actually one had exited out the, I think it was this jug. One had actually exited out, actually here, exited out the top of that jug and it was just laying right there. I'm going to head dig those out, we'll take another shot. Alright folks, I found the base laying in the grass after reviewing the high speed footage. I packed everything up, so there are six pedals with the base. Recovered weight is 150.9 grains. There's probably nine-tenths of a grain of debris and ballistic gel. Awesome results. Now for shot number two, there's some out of the water jugs taken away. Here we go. Nice. Let's see what that looks like. I got my 10 inch gong, 302 yards. All the cameras are rolling, I think. Wish me luck, here we go. <laughs> yeah all right hang on folks i think it ticks all the boxes capable one minute accuracy i'm sure it is 100 yard target you've seen my uh, shots through the tactic cam i was shaking a little bit on the trigger pulls i'm sure i can steady that up gel block shot 100 yards obviously expansion 302 yards I think I got a pretty good group on that tendon steel plate. You'll see there's a shot that's high on the plate. That was my first cider off camera. 302 yards, absolutely folks. I think that's three shots right there. And the shot, like I said, that was my first cider. Man, that's pretty awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll check this out. <laughs> I love to find. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Gotta love it. 300 yards. The uh, ballistics is showing. I think the bullet's still going at 1,650 feet per second. Muzzle energy around 900 foot pounds. Lehigh tells me that the uh, bullet will still expand maybe down to 1,500. I don't know yet. I think in the future I'm going to download some loads that, you know, try to get them to uh, shoot at 1,500 in the gel block. See if we get the expansion. If so, you know what, folks? This may be a bona fide 350 Legend 300 yard deer rifle. I, that's right, I just said that 300 yards. You know, up until this point, Winchester Hornady, you know, I'm sorry to say, you guys, you're, you're stuck in the 1800 or stuck in the early 1900s with your lead core, jacketed bullets, the all copper construction with the CNC turn control fracturing bullet design. You're getting the expansion. You're getting the 
wound channels, you're getting the penetration of the base. What more do you want? Does Nita with AP 2020 Outdoor, sorry that I'm frowning, but the sun is shining upon me. And it's an awesome day here in Central Ohio, and I think I'm gonna beat the rain. Remember, support that Second Amendment. You know, you guys, stay healthy, stay safe, social distancing, all that good stuff. We'll see you later, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm pretty psyched. Once again, the Vortex Optics, new Strike Eagle 5 to 25 by 56 came through. We'll see y'all later.